Hey everyone, it's Matinia from fengineer.com. I've recently started to use a new way of um, publishing my post for Teespring. I used to do what's commonly known as dark posts, where you hide your post on your Facebook fan page, um, but it's visible to those that you adver advertise it to. Um, I've recently started to actually post it on the fan page um, and use that post as my adver advertisement. The reason I used to hide the post before is because I used to get scared that people would scout my Facebook page and start copying my design. But at the end of the day, that's going to happen anyway, so I've just decided to... Uh, it seems that a lot of people are trying this method and seeing a lot more higher CTRs. Um, I've launched about 5 to 10 campaigns using this method and I've seen much higher CTRs. So for your newsfeed ad, um, I know I've done a video tutorial about it, I think a couple of weeks ago, doing it the other way. but I'm going to update that and um, kind of post this video in its place. You should be using this method. Or you can split, split test the both, split test the two and see how you go. But personally, at the moment, I've been using this method. So what I do is basically um, I'll write something like just released, um, just released, HTTP teespring.com uh, pretend that's my campaign link I'll say limited edition and I'd say only um, yeah, that's about enough you can add more things if you want um, but you know I, I, I'll just usually just leave it to that um, and then I'd go get my campaign link a uh, campaign picture so let's just pretend this is my campaign so I'm going to print screen that and we'll take it here. So pretend that this is my T-shirt that you're going to get from your your actual um, Teespring campaign link. And this is the template that I've been using at the moment. Um, I've switched it up with some different templates, but um, this one is one of the one of the ones that does pretty good. Um, usually I like to tack the background white. It's going to look like that. And there we go, that's enough. And I'll export that. And there it is, newsfeed add. Where are we? Uh, put on my desktop. And then I'll upload the image through this. So I've put in the text, I'll click on photo slash video and I'll upload it over here. Open. And that's it. I'll post. And now I actually use this post as my ad. So if I were to go to Power Editor, um, we'll make a new one. Call we'll call it Test. I always do page post engagement. Test, test. And you can simply, uh, you should be able to just select it from this drop down. So you select the page, so you select fun times, and then you should be able to just select the post. And that's it. Done. And then I'd, you know, obviously add your audience and your interests. Um, your method of pricing, etc., etc. But that's my post, and that's the actual ad that I use. I don't do the newsfeed ad um, the way that I used to before, which is actually create the ad within the Power Editor. Now I just post it there um, on the Facebook page, and I've been seeing a lot better CTRs. Some of my CTRs have even been up to 10 to 11 percent. That's pretty big for me, considering um, the type of niches that I'm in. Um, and it's pretty. It's not. It's becoming a common thing for me to see six, seven, or even eight percent, which is pretty good. Um, and I've been seeing increased sales as well. So 
Uh, from now on, I, I do advise using this method for creating a newsfeed ad, and I'll up, I'll update the um, the tutorial set of videos to reflect this. So hopefully, this should help your CTRs and your sales, and uh, hopefully, you'll have more chance of success with this. So anyway, uh, continue on to the next videos.